Oh my gosh. They killed Doc in the... Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Nicolette. Very excited to be with you on Popcorn Roulette. If you have not yet, make sure you like and you subscribe. This is my first time with y'all and I'm so excited. We're gonna be watching Back to the Future, which I have never seen. Don't let the shirt fool you. I know, I know, but I'm super, super excited to be watching this. I love Robert Zemeckis' work. I love Forrest Gump and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So of course I need to watch his most famous film of all time. That's obviously next on the list. So in order to watch the full watch along, head over to our Patreon page and y'all, let's get into it. Love it already. Classic Universal logo. Nailed it. All right, already getting kind of like the sci-fi vibe. Oh, nope, just Universal again. I'm just so ready for it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Spielberg presents. Always a good sign. Always a good sign. Our boy Bobby. Bobby Z. Ooh, I like the time. The timer. That's cool. Good clock visuals. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this opening setup, like visually and the way it syncs up with the sound is really intriguing. <laughs> oh my gosh, who knew there were so many animal clocks with moving eyes. That a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago. A Libyan terrorist group had claimed... Oh, you don't want to lose plutonium. That's so bad. So inventor vibes. I'm feeling like this is probably Christopher Lloyd's place, right? Got a lot of clocks, got a lot of inventions. That tracks for me. Oh, 80s inventions are the best. Oh, he stole the plutonium. Christopher, no. Okay, so Marty's very like, he knows what's going on. This isn't his first rodeo. I didn't realize they had had a previous relationship, it seems like. Can we appreciate the 80s fashion for a minute? Oh, I absolutely would wear this. No notes. <laughs> oh, Marty. Oh no. There's a slight possibility of overload. Yeah. Tonight, don't forget now, 1.15 a.m. Twin Pines... Doc, I'll be real. I, I'm pretty sure Marty's a child. He can't be going out at 1.15 a.m. Are you telling me that it's 8.25? Precisely. Yeah. I'm late for school. I get this reference now. This has been in Family Guy and so many other things. Oh, I get this reference. That's fun. It's a curious thing. Man, people do not ride their skateboards to school enough anymore. What an aesthetic. The power of love. Marty, don't go this way. Strickland's looking for you. If you get caught, it'll be four tardies in a row. What a bro, Jennifer. Well done. Why even bother, McFly? You don't have a chance. You're too much like your old man. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. That was so much vitriol. Why does this... Educator hate this child. Oh my lord. That was so extra. Poor Marty. Do you need a hug? <laughs> oh, they are just hating this. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. It's the 80s. This is not the vibe we're going for. And you gave them all these instruments. Like, of course they're going to be loud. I know. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Marty! Your girlfriend is right there. Little respect. She's just trying to keep you respectable. Well, she's not doing a very good job. Terrible. Hey. Oh my. Aww. Very sweet considering he was checking out other girls like what, 30 seconds ago? But 
High school, man. What are you gonna do? Seems like a very wholesome neighborhood. Perfect. Just perfect. Oh, we're gonna meet the parents. Gotta meet up that family dynamic. I haven't finished those up yet, but you know, I I figured since they weren't due to Hello. That can't be illegal. McQuire, your shoes on that. Oh. Don't be so gullible, Mc Why is everyone so mean to this family? We're gonna have to eat this cake by ourselves. Your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. Oh no! I think it's a major embarrassment having an uncle in prison. We all make mistakes in life, children. This woman is done. Your grandpa hit him with the car and brought him into the house. He seems so helpless, like a little lost puppy. And my heart... Your father kissed me for the very first time on that dance floor. And it was then that I realized that I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. Doesn't strike me as a first kiss on the first date type of person. Marty, did you set an alarm? Um, I'm away. So you, he's not allowed to sit in the parked car with a girl, but this is okay. Where are the boundaries in this family? Ooh, sci-fi sounds, sci-fi sounds. Is this the car reveal? Delor I know there's a DeLorean. Sick. Welcome to my latest experiment. This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Ooh. It's in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, okay. check. Good. So those have to be synced up. I feel like that's gonna play into a future thing. Like maybe they'll not be synced up and that's like causes a lapse in the space time continuum, something like that. Little blip. <laughs> this dog must be freaking out. What are you gonna do to this car? When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> oh, that was such good delivery. I'm with you, dog. I'd be concerned. What's this? What's this? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> Marty's foot is 100% in the fire. You have a fire foot. 121 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him at the time machine. Okay, that makes sense. I can follow that. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Okay, is Einstein okay? Marty, did you get that on tape? These are the questions I have. What's, someone show me Einstein. Oh, opposite, cold ball. <laughs> Einstein! Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. This clock is exactly one minute behind mine, it's still ticking. Oh, interesting. Okay. Here's a red letter date in the history of science. November 5th, 1955. That's my birthday. Well, not 1955, but that's my birthday. It requires something with a little more kick. Plutonium. Ha! Either this sucker is nuclear. Hey, 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 keep. Well, it's a time machine, Marty. I mean. I don't think this is how plutonium works. I'm going to be honest, but I've also never worked with it. So who knows? Who am I to judge? Well, I got my luggage. I mean, who knows if they got cotton underwear in the future? <laughs> These are the questions. That's where you're going. That's right. 25 years into the future. I've always dreamed of seeing the future. 2010. Wow. Uh, look me up when you get there. I want to know their, like, relationship origin story. The Libyans! I love that the Libyans are riding essentially the mystery machine. This is amazing. Oh, Doc, don't look at it that way. Gun safety. No! Oh my gosh. The they killed Doc in the... Their machine gun ran out of ammo. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, you have to grab him or go back and prevent it from happening, I guess. Oh, that, okay, yeah, I got you now. Man, don't rip off the Libyans, especially when they're in your country. You already know what happens when you hit 88, Marty, come on. This is excellent driving for someone who mainly does a skateboard, I'll be real. Oh, that's just cheating.
This is a fun segue to why he goes back. Okay. I didn't know what was the impetus was for that. And I like this. This is fun. Some farmer's going to be pissed. Oh, what is it? Oh, what is it, Paul? Oh, they're going to burn you at the freaking stake, dude. Look. <laughs> Marty McFly's going to be an alien. So I'm guessing Back to the Future doesn't go with the whole butterfly effect theory because at this point everyone would be just like in total, total chaos. Sorry about your barn. Oh, Marty. Odd thing to jump to, child. Oh, they have cars. So this is a, yeah, it's a night, it's 55. They for sure had cars even here in this rural area. Peabody, oh. It's all a dream. It's just a very intense dream. Marty, you know that's not true. You you literally just saw a doc do this experiment. You're very aware it's not a dream. You should be more with it than this. The home of tomorrow. What a tagline. You didn't grab the right amount of plutonium, Marty. Where does one find plutonium? It's before Amazon, so that's not an option. Man, I do love those prices. Jeez. Yeah, we still don't like jaywalkers in the 50s, Marty. This would be very overwhelming nowadays. I don't think I would like full attendant gas stations. I'll be very honest. Oh, those are the, the, the like the um like moon boots or shoes or whatever with the the springies. Okay, we're gonna get the origin as to why the clock was struck with lightning. It's gonna have something to do when he goes back to the future. Okay, I can. Scientists, do they actually have like that listed in phone books? Man, this guy saw an Apple Watch, he would freak out. Do you know where 1640 Riverside? Are you gonna order right. something, kid? Do you have money? Coffee. Hey, McFly. Oh, his. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. Oh, hey, Biff. Hey. That seemed unnecessary. On many ways. Oh, McFly, your shoes are tied. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't be so gullible, McFly. Okay. I don't want to see you in here okay. again. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. <laughs> what a quintessential high school bully in the 80s. Like, why are you eating oatmeal right now, sir? What do you let those boys push you around like that for? That's right. You think I'm going to spend the rest of my life in this slop house? Watch it, Goldie. No, sir. Hey. So I'm going to night school, and one day I'm going to be somebody. You're going to be the mayor. There you go. Good deduction. Good deduction. He's probably in the house, love. Nope, just kidding. He's in the tree. Oh, George, don't be a creep. That's upsetting. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> That's why you're in the middle of the street. And here comes his mom, his dad. Stella! Another one of these damn kids jumped in front of my car! How many kids have jumped in front of your car? Been asleep for almost nine hours now. Dang, that sounds so nice. Safe and sound now, back in good old 1955. 1955? Dang, get it. My name is Lorraine. Lorraine Bates? Yeah. Who lets a stranger sleep in their daughter's room? Or my pants. Over there. On my hope chest. Ha! <laughs> I've never seen purple underwear before, Calvin. Oh my. Why, why do you keep calling me Calvin? Calvin Klein? It's written all over your underwear. <sighs> oh, that's so good. Pleased to meet you, Calvin. 
If I ever meet a Calvin, I'm calling him Marty. Now who's being Ford? Mind if I sit here? No, fine. No, good, fine, good. Okay. So many questions. I don't. I don't even know where to start. Yeah, I guess you're a sailor, aren't you? That's why you wear that life preserver. Oh, I'll co start. You're a sailor who can't swim. <laughs> This is Sally, that's Toby, and over there in the playpen is little baby Joey. Why is Lorraine so much older than all of her siblings? Better get used to these bars, kid. <laughs> hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. This is uh, where Ralph dresses up as a man from space. It's brand new. Get it together, Marty. Get it together. Oh, well, then I want to give her a call. I don't want her to worry about you. Sitting very close to the guests there, uh, Lorraine. I think maybe you should spend the night. I think you're our responsibility. Well, oh, gee, I don't know. And he can sleep in my room. Bold. Wonderful, you're all great. Uh, see you all later. Much later. Oh, someone get this girl stuffed animal or something. She is, she is very lonely. Lorraine, you ever have a kid who acts that way, I'll disown you. <laughs> okay, so... 85, 55. He, Doc's probably in his, like, what? I don't know how old he's supposed to be in 85, but he looks like he'd be in his... Ah! Okay. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. <sighs> this damn thing doesn't work at all. Doc, you gotta help me. You were the only one who knows how you. He already hit his head because he has the the bandage. Who's president of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Huh? Ron <laughs> the actor? <laughs> oh, bro! Wait till you see what happens after that. And that's when he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. Good retention, Marty. Well done. Do you get plutonium in 1955? Man, that's gonna be a hard, tall order. <laughs> Aww. Somehow we've gotta sneak this back to my laboratory. Okay, so he's not his original grandfather. How did they meet up? Is that, I know there's a trilogy. Maybe that's addressed in the trilogy. To generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! One Must be a lot. That seems like a lot. 1.21 gigawatts! Tom, how am I going to generate that kind of power? It can't be done, can it? Don't ask Edison. He didn't have his own ideas. He stole them from other people. But in 1985, plutonium is available in every corner. Oh, I like that flashback with those pictures. Man, I can't be stuck here. I got a life in 1985. I got a girl. Is she pretty? Yeah. She's beautiful. Aww. Marty, I'm sorry, but the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. Ha ha! Bring it into the clock tower, man. Connect it, connect it, connect it. That a bolt of lightning is gonna strike the clock tower precisely 10.04 p.m. next Saturday night! It's a long time to be away, man. It just might work. Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future! Okay. He said it, he said the title! Yeah, well, I might have sort of bumped into my parents. Great Scott! Great Scott! You must not see anybody or talk to anybody. Anything you do could have serious repercussions on future events. Do you understand? That was my question. This proves my theory. Look at your brother. His head's gone. It's like it's like he's been erased. Erased from existence. Comes your pop. Where do you get this change of clothing? You guys are being real mature. Maybe we were adopted. Okay, real mature. Why is everyone so mean to this guy? You're a slacker. Do you want to be a slacker for the rest of your life? He's doing everyone's homework. He can't be that much of a slacker. Yeah, good. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. Calvin! She looks very different with her hair up. How's your head? Oh, uh, good. Fine. Oh, I've been so worried about you ever since you ran off the other night. Are you- George, George, no, we need you here. Man, linking up was easy in 1955. Maybe I need a time machine. 
Wait a minute, Doc, are you trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? Precisely. Whoa, this is heavy. That's upsetting. That word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? What? Interesting, you should mention. What are their common interests? What do they like to do together? Croquet? Is that a 50s thing? A no ritual coming up. Of course, the enchantment under the sea dance. <sighs> My room. I love that kids used to drink milk like this. I never, I never let anybody read my stories. Why not? What if they didn't like them? What if they told me I was no good? Oh, George. What, right here, right now in the cafeteria? What if she said no? I don't know if I could take that kind of a rejection. George, that's totally valid. I understand the concern. You know you want it. You know you want me to give it to you. <laughs> Shut your filthy mouth. I'm not that kind of girl. That's right, Lorraine. I think you kind of are, but I like it. Said get your meat hooks off. Taller than we anticipated. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? <laughs> oh, that made me happy. Man, 80s schools were pretty freaking lenient, huh? I'll miss my favorite television program, Science Fiction Theater. Yeah, but George- George. And not you? Or anybody else on this planet is gonna make me change my mind. George, why do you take a briefcase to school? Was it a thing people did in the 50s or is this a George thing? Ah. Wait, how are you sleeping at a time like this? I would be terrified. Oh, it's George. My name is Darth Vader. Love this. Love the entire approach. I need your help. I have to ask Lorraine out, but I don't know how to do it. All right, okay, let's- We're gonna start with a shower. Nothing's coming to my mind. Jesus, George, it was a wonder I was even born. What? What? Nothing. No I'm with you, Marty. He's batting zero. Tell him that she is the most beautiful girl you have ever seen in the world. Girls like that stuff. Helps if you sound a little bit uh, honest when you say it as well. George McFly, I'm your density. Dang it. I thought I told you never to come in here. Seems like an odd boundary to set in a town like this. Whoa. Does he keep getting taller? Shit. Well done. That's Calvin Klein. Oh my God, he's a dream. Oh, his mom's gonna be obsessed with Calvin Klein. What's that thing he's on? It's a board with wheels. Dream. I need to find out when the skateboard was invented. Oh, well, that's just destruction of public property, Biff. And this seems like attempted murder. Nice. Oh, classic. Mar Marty, I would I would leave. I would get out of there. Yeah, where does he live? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Lorraine, look at that look. Oh, the focus. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for Marty! Oh, he's gonna see his dad. Oh, is that caught on video? Let me show you my plan for sending you home. If I had to guess, Marty's gonna leave like a note or something. Release. Not ideal. Not ideal. Don't worry, I'll take care of Ivy. You just take care of your pop. Yeah, you're both failing right now. It's your mom. She's strapped you down. Let's cover the time. Man, she's like a bloodhound. My uh, doc. My uncle. Doc. Brown. Hi. Hi. Seriously, how do you guys know each other? What I was kind of wondering if you... If you'd ask me to the enchantment under the sea dance on Saturday. I like the idea of you asking me. What about, what about George? He's kind of cute and all, but uh, I think a man should be strong. Yeah, keep your standards high, Lorraine. Forget about your future children. Yeah, but I've never picked a fight in my entire life. Look, you're not going to be picking a fight, Dad. Dad, Dad, Daddy-o. <laughs> He's going to get very angry with me. Why is she gonna get angry with you? Which nice girls get angry when uh, guys take advantage of them. Every girl gets angry. 
Nine o'clock, you're strolling through the parking lot. You see us uh, struggling in the car. I don't like this. You punch me in the stomach. I'm out for the count, right? <gasps> and you and Lorraine live happily ever after. You make it sound so easy. Yeah, you really do. I wish I wasn't so scared. George, there's nothing to be scared of. All it takes is a little self-confidence. You got this, George. Mostly clear, with some scattered clouds. Is no one noticing this setup in the middle of town square? You've really made a difference in my life. You've given me something to shoot for. Mm -hmm. Just knowing that I'm going to be around to see 1985. I love this relationship. That I'm going to have a chance to travel through time. This fills my heart. I'm really going to miss you, Marty. That was really beautiful. Whatever you've got to tell me, I'll find out through the natural course of time. Invest in Apple. Evening, Dr. Brown. You need to put win in 1985, Marty. Well, got a permit for that? Of course I do. What permit would you use? Find it here. Oh, I want to pretend this is how every 1950s dance was. George, get a jacket that fits for once in your life. If you try something, I think she's gonna be into it. I don't know how to feel about this. How far are we gonna push this? Yeah, I'd love to park. Oh, Marty, I'm almost 18 years old. It's not like I've never parked before. Oh no! Lorraine! Lorraine! You're wild! Don't be such a square. Everybody who's anybody drinks. Atta boy. Check that time, Georgie. The rain. Oh, I, th I think I know exactly what you mean. You do? You know what I do in those situations? What do you do, Lorraine? I don't worry. Oh! <laughs> That's happening. That is happening. This is all wrong. When I kiss you, it's like I'm kissing my brother. Oh. This seems like an unfair fight. No, no. Right here with me. Oh, absolutely not. Well, go on. This ain't no peep show. Okay, George, I really need you to step up, bro. This is not okay. Messing up my hair. What the hell are you doing to my car? Yeah, you future felons. Who are you calling spook, Pekka Wood? Look, I don't want to mess with no reefer addicts, okay? Reefer addicts. Correct, where are your keys? Hey, the keys are in the trunk. Ah, oh, that's not good. Here we go, George, you got this. Hey, you, get your damn hands off. I think you got the wrong car, McFly. <laughs> George, come on. Help me, please. Just turn around, McFly. And walk away. This is so traumatic for her. No, Biff. You leave her alone. That's right, George. Uh, 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 oh, George, I wish you were better at this. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, is Marty gonna have to play at the dance? That'd be fun. That'd be a fun little callback. Man, this guy sucks. <laughs> That's right, George. That's right, George. Come on. Good hit. Kiss her, George. Kiss her good. Flying. Who's that guy? Excuse me. Why is the fading still happening? Dude, something's missing. Hey guys, you gotta get back in there and finish the dance. Hey, man. Oh, because they have to kiss on the with his hand like that, and we okay. can't play without him. Yeah, well, you know somebody else that can play the guitar. This is for all you lovers out there. Ignore my hand, please. Earth angel, Earth angel. I love this song. Scram, McFly. I'm cutting in. 
George, come on, dude. I can't play. Man, guys really did not understand the word no in this decade. Excuse me. Kisser George. We got all three. Aww. All right. Stage one done. Guys, uh, listen, this is the blues riff and B. Watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? Lot of, uh, a lot of bossiness for somebody who just joined the group, Marty. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Way back up in Yo, the music of this movie slaps. Oh, it's like a little grease moment. I love this. It's most into a school dance someone has ever been in the history of forever. Okay, I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. But your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> if you guys ever have kids, and one of them, when he's eight years old, accidentally sets fire to the living room rug, Go easy on him. Got a lot of questions, Marty. Got a lot of questions. Marty, such a nice name. Marty, you're gonna go back to the future and be called Calvin. I didn't know he had an enemy. He's never served the vip in his life. Ever. No, why? What's the matter? Forget it. It's fine. We'll do it live. Let's send you back at exactly the same time. How about a few minutes before? When this alarm goes off, you hit the gas. Right. Well, I guess that's everything. Aww. Your life depends on it. No. I'll tell you straight out. Oh no! You get the cable. I'll throw the room down too. Right, I got it. Oh, this just seems like a terrible idea. Can anyone get access to a bell tower? Is it really? I mean, it's the 50s, so sure, why not? I'm with you, Doc. Is he gonna climb this? On, oh, okay. That makes way more sense. Look at the time! You got less than four minutes! Marty, just go back earlier. It's fine. Is it purple now? I like that change. Damn it, Doc. Why did you have to tear up that letter? We had more time. You got this, Marty. You got this, Marty. I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Man, the dramatic tension. Lightning. Oh, Doc, I really need you to get it together. Pilates pays off. Come on. Good to know. That's how it works. Y'all, I apologize for like my my seat. I, I twist myself into shapes when I get anxious. It's fine. Bro. Not the best way to do that. Oh, that absolutely would have killed him. You definitely did not have a permit for that. <laughs> no, the town's gonna be so pissed. You there, sir. Tell me what today is. Why, it's Christmas Day. 124. I still got time. Oh my God. You better run, bro. Oh, these mystery machine terrorists. Where's your skateboard, Marty? 
It's gotta be the skateboard. I'm putting money on the skateboard. Oh, your endurance should be much higher. Oh my god. Oh, Marty, he was shot so many times. Was he wearing a bulletproof vest? Oh, he figured it out somehow. He like read the letter. He did something. He was prepared. Bulletproof vest. I, I, I never got a chance to tell you. <laughs> Oh, yay. Not all that talk about screwing up future events, the space-time continuum. <laughs> well, I figured, what the hell? <laughs> oh, yay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Look me up when you get there, all right? This will be about 47. I will. Is that the sequel? Is the sequel 30 years in the future? Y'all, we might need to watch the sequel. I'm, I'm invested. Oh, That's horrible posture to sleep in, Marty. I love this poster behind him that just says sports. <laughs> Why were you cheating? No. Hello. Good morning. Oh. Mom, Dad. Oh, people are so much happier. Oh, Marty, I almost forgot Jennifer Parker called. Oh, I sure like her, Marty. She is such a sweet girl. Love this. Love everything about this. The car is fine. Why am I always the last one to know about I these things? You. See, there's Biff out there whacking. Huh? <laughs> your first novel. Like I've always told you, you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. I love this. Keys. What a wonderful, wonderful alternate ending to the reality. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. Everything is great. Oh. We got our kiss. Marty! You've got to come back with me! What we were all wearing in 2010. Wait a minute. What are you doing, Doc? Is it work on recyclables now? Go ahead, quit and get in the car. Very energy efficient. Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something has got to be done about your kids. What's happening with the kids? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, they would be so bummed about what actually happens. <laughs> what a great ending. Sets up for the sequels. Ah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wow. Okay, I get it. I get why this is a classic. I, I, I understand. Well, well done. Wow. Okay, y'all, that is a wrap for Back to the Future, which was absolutely amazing. Definitely let us know in the comments if you want to see me do Back to the Future 2 and 3, because I am just thrilled. Thank you so much for joining us for Popcorn Roulette, especially on my first reaction. I hope to do more with you in the future. Hit that like and subscribe button if you have not yet done so, and I will see you in the future.